free of grape cork slip systems on all grape or cellular treated in natural shade. Please call Marcia for Grape Day. Come in to check out all the possibilities of window fashion, whatever your needs may be. And thank you for shopping at Forbes Grape Day. 541 469 6431. seconds. Interesting. It stopped running. I think what the Bruins need to do in the second half, take better care of the basketball, get up some better shots. Their defense was, they played some good defense in the first half against the Crusaders, but they need to take better care of the basketball, and hopefully they'll cut into this six-point lead early by the Crusaders, and hopefully they'll take the lead. Yeah, my hope that after three quarters, the Bruins will actually have the lead. Wouldn't that be nice? So we're just waiting for a moment for the third quarter to start. As St. Mary's is coming out on the court. Bruins are still huddled around their head coach, Kara Miller. And now Amelia Bruce leads the Bruins back onto the court. And Johanna Larson will be out there. Also, Ben Palmerin, Elaine Burrow, and Peters, Arkins, Peters, Arkins. Another acronym thrown out there for you, ladies and gentlemen. But we're still waiting just for a moment as one of the referees comes out, the second one comes out, the third one comes out. We're about ready for basketball, ladies and gentlemen, beginning the third quarter, the better the ball will be Edelon Evans. Evans gets the ball into Grace Johnson. Inside, Betty Ward back outside. Ball's almost knocked away. Crusaders have it. As Ellie Evans, the inside shot is up and good by Perry Macy. So Amelia Bruce has it. Bruce down by eight. They need some, they have some catching up to do here. Shot is outside, no good by Palmer. And the ball knocked out of bounds. It will be the Crusaders basketball. They are up eight points. 7.29 to go in the third quarter. We just started the third quarter, ladies and gentlemen. So Grace Johnson has the ball. She brings the ball quite a bit for the Crusaders. 
Betty Ward gets it down the court, and Emma Wheelock has it. But now we have it over and back as the Crusaders turn the ball over. Grace Johnson picked the ball up, but she was over and back. So the Bruins will inbound the ball. Palmeran inbounds it to Amelia Bruce, 7 13 left in the third quarter. Bruce outside gets the ball back for Palmeran. Palmeran has the ball now, throws the ball out of bounds. Another turnover as Addison Hodges could not catch that ball. It's too high for her. As I mentioned, before the third quarter, the Bruins would need to take better care of the basketball. So far in the third quarter, they have not. But let's see if they can turn it around here. Hit the ball, Maddie Ward, long down for pass to turn, Bessie. Bessie gives the ball off for a shot, air ball, as Ellie Evans picked it up, and then Karen Bessie got the rebound, and she was fouled. She'll have two shots coming. Karen Bessie had four points at halftime, Emma Wheelock had nine points for Crusaders. Her shot is good. And Eddie Ward had a three for the Bruins, Amelia Bruce two, Jane Babb three, Jane Palmer five, Ella Renault two, Madison Hodges two, and Burrow had two points. So one out of the two made for the Crusaders as Burrow comes down court inside. The back outside to Bruce puts up a running left hander, no good. And it's rebounded by the Crusaders, Emma Wheelock. Wheelock has the ball. Gives it to Betty Ward. Shot is up and no good. Ward missed it, but she got her own rebound. Pass ball to Grace Johnson. And Ella Yamins has it. Into the corner. Wheelock's got it inside. Ward puts up travels. A traveling call on Betty Ward. 6.14 left. In the third quarter, Bruins have some catching up to do. Let's see what they can do. Ben Calvaran is waiting for the ball. A little delay there, but she gets it into Amelia Bruce, A.B. Dribbling in fourth, right-handed, left-handed. Gives it off to Bab. Now back inside, not thrown away. And picked up by Elizabeth McGill. Picked up the Crusaders. Looks like she walked, but she did. Crystal Mitchell-Vila. Inside now. Surrounded is Matty Ward. Shot is up and no good. And Bruce almost lost it, but Amelia Bruce has it. Coming down court. All the way to the basket. She puts it up, no good. But she was fouled. He had a left-handed layup that went up. Missed the shot. She was fouled. Amy, Amelia Bruce, going to the line for two, 540 left in the third quarter. First one, good swish. Amelia Bruce makes it much needed. Free throw, 25 to 17. The Crusaders lead the Bruins. Second shot, good. Amelia Bruce hits two. That's the Crusaders, ladies and Crusaders lead to seven. Up here comes Emma Wheelock. Ball is almost lost by Maddie Ward. And Ward almost lost it again. But we have a foul call. Foul's called by Madison Hodges. Time for a little bit of water, ladies and gentlemen. Bruins gets the ball back. Shot is up, left-handed shot, wild shot by Burrow, missed. And here we have the Crusaders up court. Crystal Ranger Vila has it, gives it off to Maddie Ward. Ward misses. Rebound by Johanna Larson. And here comes Addison Hodges, all the way down court to Burrow. Ball is almost, it is thrown away, unfortunately. Burrow tried to throw the ball to Jaden Babb, threw it out of bounds. 4.54 left in the third quarter, 25 to 18. The 
Leading Crusaders lead the Lady Bruins. But Maddie Ward has the ball now. Gives it up to Elizabeth McGill. McGill gives the ball to Emma Wheelock. Wheelock. Back to Maddie Ward. Inside, the new ball goes to Marcy. To, to uh, Shot clock is at 16. As Emma Wheelock has it. No good by Emma Wheelock. Here come the Bruins trying to cut the lead down 25 to 18. As Amelia Bruce to about three pointers short. Rebound, Bruins have it. And Johanna Larson was fouled. Nice rebound by Johanna Larson, and she was fouled. 4 14 left in the third quarter. Second team foul on the St. Mary's Ladies Crusaders. Inbounding the ball will be the Bruins. Amelia Bruce. Catches the inbound pass, perfectly one-handed. Actually, Larson gets a moment of foul. Bruce in the corner, no good. Comes up short off the rim. Rebound though by the Bruins. Shot is up by Hodges, no good. Hodges gets the ball back, back to Bruce. Shot is, oh, wait a minute now, she just missed the three. And we have a jump ball. And possession arrow will be the Bruins. 352 left, ladies and gentlemen, in the third quarter. Eric Smelsa reporting to you live from the Brickings Harbor Bruins Jam in Brickings, Oregon. Bob gets the ball, gets it inside, a shot is up, no good, but Johanna Larson will get to Remember, you can listen to our broadcast on 95.3 Curry Radio. Oregon and also stream the broadcast. You can hear these games all over the U.S. and all over the world. First shot is good by Johanna Larson. Cuts the lead to 25 to 19. Second shot is up and it's good. Johanna Larson makes the most of them. Harbor Bruins men and the St. Mary's men Crusaders 9 and 3. Uh, actually, overall 11 and 9, but 9 and 3 in the league. OSA ranking of 19. The Bruins are 7 and 14 overall, 40. The league OSA ranking of 35. So back to the action, St. Mary's has the basketball. Under the Bruins court, they're gonna bring it up. Here come the Crusaders. Up court with the ball is Ella Evans. Now, uh, Bruce Johnson has it. He deserves the ball again. Inside, Emma Wheelock. Shot is up and good. Nice shot by Ella Evans. It is now 28-20. The Crusaders lead the Bruins. The 3-12 left in the third Bruce down the lane, has a block. Knocked away by the Crusaders. And here comes Karen Bassey up for 28-20. The Crusaders have the ball. The ball is almost thrown away, but it is retrieved by Emma Wheelock. Crystal Mitchell Vila has it. Chris Johnson has it now. It's a ball off the only game. Shot is air ball. That was an air ball that he's done. The 28 to 20. And actually, I wanted to let you know that Eamon's last shot was a three. Number three, three, only Eamon's in a three, so it's 28 to 20. Crusaders, Amelia Bruce has trying to make something happen. Gets up the bat. Bat. Burrow's getting on the inside. 
Almost thrown away, but that's got it back. 22 on the timer. Amelia Bruce has an AB. Inside, shot is missed by Addison Hodges. But the Bruins get the ball back. 13 on the timer. Now it's got a three up. No good. That would have been nice if that one had gone in. Bruins still on the ball. New shot clock. Amelia Bruce dribbling down the lane. Hits it up. Didn't make it, but it will be the Bruins. Harvard Bruins ladies. Basket ball as Jaden Halbert will inbound the ball. Trying to find somebody inside Murrow. Puts it up. It is off the back of the back forward, actually. No good. And the ball is lost out of bounds up court by Emma Wheelock. She lost the ball. Got a pass from Grace Johnson, but could not handle it. So, inbounding the ball will be the Bruins' Jordan Halbert. And we've got a substitution coming in as Philip Veneau comes in from Liam Burrow. Here comes Amelia Bruce, gives it up to Bab. Now, inside, Bruins trying to make something happening, or happen, but they can't. I just misses, loses the ball, actually. Oh, and there's a big tumble there by Karen Vassi. She will be okay. Looks like she is all right. Thank goodness for that. She is okay. We did lose the ball out of bounds, though. So. And then that ball will be. Bruce trying to get the lead. They managed to play really good defense tonight. Avila Bruce has an upside. He's up and up. Inside. Trouble inside as El Renew trying to get it up. But there's a shot. Beautiful shot by El Renault. That's a three, and it's 20 to 23. That helps a lot. 120 left in the third quarter. And the Bruins are going to get the ball back. A turnover. A turnover by St. Mary's. And the Bruins have the ball back as LA Evans lost the ball. So the Bruins have it now. Big down. Lost the ball, unfortunately. And here comes Crystal Rico Mila. St. Mary's has the ball. Reese Johnson. Gets the ball back to Kelly Evans. Shot is barely hit the green. It's a rim. Watch out from behind. As, as Ella Renew had the ball, but she was being double teamed, but she protected the ball. Bam has the ball. Throws it inside. Kind of an error pass. Unfortunately, well, let's see what happens here. I want to make sure the Bruins do have the ball back. As Turner Vassie could not get the air pass the Bruins made, so the Bruins do have the ball. Ball 20 to 23, only down by five, with 44.6 seconds left in the third quarter. Bruins have the ball. Palmerin gets it off to Renault. Bruce has it now. Emilio Bruce, 30 on the timer. Burrow goes in sometimes, puts it up, no good. Rebound comes off to the Crusaders. That approaches them, Ellen Lee Evans. Now it's got Julius Jones, and that's Ripley, 25 seconds left in the third quarter. Evans gets the ball back. Gets the ball inside to Terry Bassey. Back outside, Grace Johnson. Grace Johnson, GJ. Grace Johnson, here's an outside three quarter. He's up and good, and beautiful. Big shot. Turkey and roast beef sandwich recently, and it was 
absolutely delicious. Also, the uh, people who work at the caves are very friendly, and uh, they have excellent customer service. So that's the action. This is the beginning of the fourth quarter, ladies and gentlemen. Let me hear Eric Spencer broadcast you live from the Brookings Harbor Bruins Gym in Brookings, Oregon. So here we go. Ellie Eagles. Inside, the ball is missed by Matty Ward. And 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 we'll see what happens. Medium risk early up for right hand and left hand is back and forth. He looks good. Now the shot is no good. And the ball is missed by Matty Ward. And the shot was made by Ella Renaud. Big basket. That cuts the lead to six. Bruins steal the ball. They got the ball back. And there we go. Outside a shot is up in the air ball. Air ball. They had a chance to tie the game there, or they could have taken the lead with the three. 
Crusaders at the ball. As inbounding is Emma Wheelock. Down the lane all the way and shot his miss by Taryn Barcy. But we do have a foul. And Matty Ward was fouled on the foul of the ball and shot his turn. Massey missed the first one. But Matty Ward has two free throws. The first one is short off the front rim. It's still a two point lead. For the Lady Crusaders over the Lady Bruins. This makes 16 left, ladies and gentlemen, in the fourth quarter. Second shot by Maddie Ward. Let's see what she does on shot number two. Shot number two, Swish. Nice shot by Maddie Ward. Bruins trail by three. Here comes Amelia Bruzzavi. So does So off to Larson. The bound. Oh, that's lost, though. 
will be Jake Calvary off the Bruce. 31 seconds left on the timer. Two seconds left in the game. We're going to the basket right here. And what happens is the guard and inside ball is thrown away. A very inopportune turnover for the Bruins. Of course, double team is Aaron Bassey. And the Crusaders inside. What do we have here? Oh, 
Thank you. 